Yo, 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 what's up, people? This your boy P. Ross back in the building for Nerd Life 513. Okay, now we got those uh, WWE Class of Champions 2019 results. Okay, let's see how well we fare. All right, uh, we had the uh, Cruiserweight Champion Drew Gulak defending, and he retained the Cruiserweight Championship. You know what I mean? So, that was the pre-show. You know what? It was a pretty good match. You know what I mean? Um, I don't even know why they have, like, a kickoff show. Because most times, the kickoff show matches be better than the regular main roster matches for the pay-per-views. But, it's all good. Um, then we had, uh, again, here's another great one. AJ Styles, uh, the United States Champion versus Cedric Alexander. This is not a match I would imagine being on a kickoff show, but it's all good because it was a great match. Um, AJ Styles retained the United States Championship after it was all over. You know what I'm saying? The OC, they came out, beat the shit out of Cedric Alexander. You know how it is. You know what I mean? You know how it is, yo. Um, the next... We have WWE Raw Tag Team Championships, Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman versus Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. Although I would have liked to see Seth and Braun retain, it was inevitable that they lost to Dolph and Robert Roode. You know what I mean? This brand new quote unquote tag team who defended, I mean, who, who had their first championship match. I mean, it is what it is. I saw it coming to build to the main event or whatever. You know, so it's all good. Uh, you have new uh, Raw Tag Team Champions, uh, Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode. Uh, let's see, what else is next? Um, SmackDown Women's Championship, Bayley versus Charlotte Flair. I believe I had Charlotte Flair winning this one. But Bailey won this one. And you know what? It's it's all good. You know what I mean? Um It was an okay match. It wasn't the best shit on the card, but it was an okay match. You know what I mean? Um then you had the WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions, The New Day versus the Revival. Um unfortunately I know I picked the New Day to win this one. But the Revival won. And I'm not even mad at that. You know what I mean? Um, Revival, great fucking tag team. You know what I'm saying? They do what they got to do. They get in, they get out. And they won it. You know what I mean? They're great wrestlers. So I'm not really mad at that. Then you have the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross versus Fire and Desire. Fire and Desire consisting of... Uh, Sonya Deville and Mandy Rose. I believe I had Fire and Desire winning, but Alexa Bliss and Nikki Cross won. Yeah, yeah, they won. So I ain't really mad at that because at least now we are seeing the women tag team championships, you know, on TV and on pay per views. Um, then we had uh, a match that surprisingly was not on the kickoff show. Uh, the Intercontinental Championship match, Shinsuke Matt Nakamura versus The Miz. Uh, Shinsuke retained. Shinsuke is one of my favorite performers today. You know what I mean? Um, I don't really know how it's going to work out with Sami Zayn being his hype man. But hopefully it'll work out for both of them. You know, Sami on that crazy losing streak. You know what I'm saying? Shinsuke is just one of the greats period you know what i mean so shinsuke retained the uh intercontinental championship then we had the wwe raw women's championship becky lynch versus sasha banks okay now here we go with the the, the bullshit okay um 
I hate when matches end the disqualifications when they don't really have to, where it don't really build up shit. You know what I mean? Like, in any other world, if the referee would have got hit, they wouldn't have disqualified the person who hit them by accident. They wouldn't have did that. Referees just would have been knocked out. You know what I mean? And then woke up. You know what I mean? Like, I don't get that. I don't understand that. And it's not all good for this particular match because I feel like I wanted a decisive winner. But I guess this is a way for them to continue the Becky Sasha program. You know what I mean? Which, hopefully, it pays off, in my opinion, for Sasha Banks. Uh, eventually winning the Raw Women's Tag. The Raw, I said Tag. I've had a couple Roman Copes, so give me some slack. Um, the Raw Women's Championship for Sasha. I hope that's how it ends up. But we'll see, you know. Um, but it was a disqualification. Sasha won by disqualification because uh, Becky hit the referee with a fucking chair. Okay, now we have WWE Championship. Kofi Kingston versus Randy Orton. Great freaking match. Um, Kofi Kingston won. He retained the WWE Championship. You know what I'm saying? Thank you. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like Kofi is like one of the hottest things going today in pro wrestling. Anyway, one of the hottest things going in pro wrestling. So, hopefully... Uh, I'm predicting Kofi ain't going to lose to after next year's WrestleMania 2020. So that's just my prediction. You know what I'm saying? If anybody watches this video, leave me, a, leave me a comment down in the bottom. Period. But Kofi ended up winning this when he defeated Randy Orton. Um, then we have uh, the no DQ match. Roman Reigns versus Eric Rowan. First of all... How the hell does a regular match get on a pay-per-view where there's supposed to be championship matches? But, hey, whatever. This was a dope match. You know what I mean? Um, you have to give Roman Reigns credit where credit is due. He is an okay wrestler. Um, so is Eric Rowan. But Eric Rowan ended up winning. That, that was, like, the shocking shit. Like, it seemed like they're trying... To do everything right with Roman. You know what I'm saying? Considering that before he left with his health scare. He was getting booed. and You know what I'm saying? They was trying to shove him down our throats. You know what I'm saying? So him losing to Roman was kind of like. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? But it was an opportunity to bring Luke Harper back. You know what I mean? Luke Harper is easily like right now. In, in, in this day and age. One of. The best wrestlers ever. Right now. Not, I ain't gonna say ever. But right now, he is one of the best wrestlers that the WWE has. Okay? You know, uh, so, you know, he got involved in the match and Rowan won. So, Roman loses out on this one. Then we have Seth Rollins versus Braun Strowman. Now, originally... I believe I had Brian winning this. I wanted Brian to win this because Brian is one of my favorites right now. And I just feel like with all the bullshit like like a year ago with Brock and Brock beat him and you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't necessarily think Brian deserved that. He should have been Universal Champion to me, if you ask me. When Roman got sick and forfeited the belt, he should have been Universal Champion. But whatever politics backstage prevented him from doing that, hey, it is what it is. But I definitely believe that Braun should have beat Seth Rollins tonight. And he did not. Seth Rollins hit four curb stomps, I believe. You know what I'm saying? In order to beat Braun. And that was some bullshit. And, you know, originally I was pissed. I was, like, super pissed. Because I'm like, what does Brian have to do to get over? You know what I mean? Like, it's bullshit. But the craziest shit happened at the end. When Seth beat him, Seth went up the ramp. Guess who showed up? 
the fiend bray wyatt the fiend so i instantly got excited i wasn't mad no more because you know what i get it i get it you know what i'm saying the fiend bray wyatt they hype me. the fiend is the hottest shit going today one of the hottest things going today in wrestling besides some of the aew shit but the fiend is one of the hottest shits going on in wrestling right now today you know what I mean? So, you know what? I get it. Not only did the Fiend sister Abigail sister, uh, sister uh, Abigail's sister that, that dude, Seth Rollins, put the mandible claw on him. So, I'm expecting a program with the Fiend, Bray Wyatt, and Seth Rollins to come out of this. I don't know where Braun Strowman gonna end up. Probably to the back of the line once a fucking year. But, Okay, just just give Braun Strowman a dope program. Or you can even put him in this program with Bray Wyatt. You know what I'm saying? Because it's history there. You know what I'm saying? With the Wyatt family and all that shit. So, those are your WWE Class of Champions results. This your boy P. Ross. Yo, Nerd Life 513. We in the building. Keep it popping. All right, people. We out. Peace.